Are you feel tension and stiffness when you try vibrato? Are you having difficulty keeping your finger relaxed when you add vibrato to your play? Are you interested in making your vibrato sounds more expressive and build a nature flowing motion? Today, we will explore how to start up the vibrato technique and analyze why we so struggle to start and the easiest way to fix it. So, we are going to talk about what's the chord of vibrato first. Why the harder you try, the worse the result. Once we know what's the chord of vibrato and understand why so struggle, I will share the easiest approach, which is a simple and quick way to reach our goal, develop an easy and natural vibrato. What's up everyone, it's Noah here. Bring you the shortcut and hack to improve your violin technique in no time. We all know vibrato is a quick motion, but do you really know how to do a quick motion? Let's do an experiment together. Try to make quick finger movement with your left hand like you're playing a bunch of notes. Try to compare moving lightly and forcefully, which one feels more comfortable and easier. In my personal experience, I feel easier on moving lightly. But it's quite odd, the more you seek to be faster, the harder you work and yet your speed decreases. For this reason, we're looking for a motion that is not only light but also relaxed. Do you know what relax actually means? For me, relax is relative. Just like if you are strong enough to lift a 100 pounds dumbbell, it must be easy to carry a 10 pounds box of coke for you. But for a strong 3 year old kid, he might lift a 5 pounds dumbbell, but what if you ask him to carry a 10 pounds box of coke? I won't say that's not possible, but I don't think that would be easy. So we know if you want to relax, you have to be strong enough first. In other words, as we build our finger strength, we move closer to relax, leading to improved speed and sound quality. After we understand the why part, now we want to know the how part. Before we start, in order to save time, get efficient practice, I will highly recommend downloading the practice guide below. Since our attention and patience are limited, download and print out the guide will easily remind us on what's our goal, what's the next step, where do we want to focus. This might be the easiest trick to improve practice efficiency. Okay, let's back. How to increase your strength for vibrato? The fastest way to get stronger is to focus on the weakest muscle used in vibrato, usually the fingers. Let's start with stage 1, Super Squeezer. Pinch the middle fingertips and thumb together. Try to press the first knuckle of the middle finger. Alternate between locked and bend. Keep your mind on the fingertips. Make sure the rest of your muscles still, especially the shoulders. This exercise not only makes our fingers stronger, but also improves the flexibility of the finger's first knuckle. It will also help vibrato ring more. But the best part of this exercise is that you can practice anytime, anywhere, even when you're waiting for something or feel bored. Keep practicing the super squeezer exercise until you get used to the finger motion. After you can last at least one minute on each finger, we can dive into stage two, mix with skill. Follow the guy, do the super squeezer and skill together. Play with metronome each note get 4 beats at a tempo of 60. The purpose of this practice is to master left hand coordination 
on the fingerboard without being influenced by right hand or shoulder movement. If bending and locking pose difficulty, consider lifting the fingers from the forearm to the wrist so that the joint at the fingers and palms junction are higher than the fingertips. The ideal spin is roll smoothly from the fingertips to the finger pump. Keep your mind on the fingertips and keep the rest of your muscles still, especially the shoulders. In case your finger feel weak during the process, consider practicing a few more repetitions. Like scaling a mountain, we must begin our journey from the base of a hill. Follow the guy from two times sits in one bow to four times sit in one bow to six times sit in one bow eventually to eight times set in one bow. Increase the number of set only when you get used to it. Make sure you begin from the two times set on each practice season. Avoid jumping directly into fast ones. If you struggle to match the metronome with certain fingers, consider spending additional time on those fingers during practice or just decrease the tempo. Keep in mind, our purpose is to master left hand coordination without any influence from right hand or shoulder motions. Make sure you keep the rest of your muscles still, especially the shoulders. Okay, let's review. Sort out the logical chain and practice order so that you can clarify and understand what's going on. Let's start from the core of Vervado, which is relax. In order to be relaxed, we start from the easiest way, maximize our strength, and start to train from the weakest part, fingers. Then we use the super squeezer to enhance our finger strength finally come by with the scale. Remember all the purpose we seek to achieve. We are scaling. Alright, in Valen Vivado, relax is only the first stage. Speed, range, and tone also affect the final result. So, if you are eager to know more about it, Drop a comment below. The topic of our next video will be chosen based on your comment. If you have any question, don't hesitate to ask me. See you next time.